Bonjour everyone and welcome back to today's video. As you can see, today I'm feeling not my best. I am sick. The cold, the flu, the nasty, uh, nasty virus is back into my system. So this is how I look. Very, very exhausted, very tired, but also very sick. So today I thought, why not doing a makeup that will pick me up, that will give me a little bit of a good feeling because I'm not feeling my best and I wanted something quick something easy i really want to do a little something something with that face so i'm gonna be using product that i really like for a sick day you just don't want to look like a zombie you want to look a little bit more put together more like feeling good about yourself so this is what we're gonna do today but before jumping right into it if you're new to my channel hello my name is baya and i do everyday makeup for the everyday life if you like easy makeup routine beauty routine you are the right place with the right person if that sounds good to you you. I hope you will subscribe before you leave and if you like this type of makeup don't hesitate to give me a big thumbs up it does help my channel to grow and now without further ado if you want to see the products I'm gonna be using which is right here right there you know what to do just keep on watching <music> I have my little warm cappuccino to help me out to go through that day. So grab a snack, grab something to drink, get yourself cozy, and without further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? Cheers. I also have my tissue in case because I do sneeze a lot. I do have a runny nose, a rotary eyes. Today, actually, I have errands to run. I have also my daughter's nativity play at school, so I don't want to look like this. But now we're gonna start with the makeup because obviously we want to know what makeup I use when I'm feeling sick and I want my face to be a little bit more presentable, right? So I'm gonna be using this Cosa Sleep Oil in Jellyfish for my lips because they're super dehydrated super dry and because i have a blocking noise but also runny nose at the same time it's really red but it's true so i have difficulties to breathe through my nose so i do breathe a lot from my mouth and i feel like my lips get drier and yeah i feel like they really need some help so this is a really good lip oil to just hydrate and nourish your lips deeply next i'm gonna be using a slash skincare slash primer so a hybrid product from the brand dr jar plus it's the sika pair tiger grass color correcting treatment i did talk about it in previous video it's a primer right for any redness you may have and since Again, I'm sick. I do tend to have my cheek to be a little bit more rosier, more reddish, and also a little bit more. Oh, I can't use my middle finger, I forgot. Oh boy, how am I gonna do that now? I just, of course, broke my nail right before filming. I think I'm gonna take it off because I can't do my makeup like that just doesn't work for me and yes yeah, so it's gonna really help to diminish the appearance of my redness on my nose because i do again blow my nose a lot so if i can reduce a little bit the appearance of that redness it's a great thing to do there you go you see then i'm gonna use a corrector for charlotte tilbury it is my favorite one you know that one already if i can open it <laughs> it's gonna be great but i'm gonna just use it on my under eye to also correct my dark circle to have a little bit less tiredness appearances on my under eye since I'm sleeping really badly lately and I keep waking up because of my nose since I don't really breathe properly through the night I just keep on waking up which is annoying but anyway this is a really great great product for me and yeah love it highly recommend it then for my base we're gonna skip foundation today we're gonna even skip skin tint i really wanted to go back to this product that i love it's the vita liberata beauty blur it's actually a primer and a tinted face moisturizer it does give a lot of hydration but also it gives a bit of a glow a bit of okay i'm gonna take this off i think i can't do my makeup with that hmm? oh no Okay, I'll be right back. Took it off. So now I'm gonna apply my Vita Liberata with my fingers. It's easy to apply, it's quick. It just gonna give me a nice even out skin, but also it's gonna give me some glowiness, some luminosity, some freshness to my face since it's very tired, very dull as well because of the sickness. You see how hydrated I feel, plumped, 
and glowy from within. I really like this product and with my finger it's quick, it's easy, no fuss and I feel a little bit more freshen up you know i really like this product so much for my concealer i'm gonna go for a fuller coverage and it's gonna be the long comb it's the tiny doll concealer and this one is really full coverage and it is my skin tone so that's why i choose this one because i'm not gonna use any brightness i just want extra coverage where i need and for that i really need to use a concealer that is my skin tone so it doesn't look off you know and it's such a great concealer this one it really does the job of covering and also evening out my skin tone when it did and give me that coverage i need without doing too much i don't really need to use a lot of it and it does a great job you see so i'm not going full on glam obviously i just want to cover that sick face that i have and for that i need coverage but that will look very natural and this concealer does it all it covers but also looks very natural on the skin you know and it doesn't do too much it doesn't look like i'm wearing any makeup so far you see but it doesn't look as well that i'm really really sick so i really like that very very good then before setting my under eye and teaser i'm gonna use a cream bronzer from say beauty which i love it's actually the sun melt natural bronzer that i have in the shade medium bronze is one of my favorite natural everyday cream bronzer I actually haven't used it for a while so i'm gonna use it today because i wanted some warmth to my face to give some dimension some structure but at the same time to give me some you know all to the face that I look a little bit more alive and this does a great job again giving me a good fresh look without doing too much and I like it because it's blendable the color is perfect for me it has the right undertone as well you see and it looks very very natural it's very creamy and you can build up the coverage if you want to if you want more warmth more bronziness to your face you can but for me i won't do too much because i really want to stay in the natural side of the makeup and this does a great job of just warming up my face i love that it's not too much it's borderline undetectable but at the same time it really gives a little something something to my face and i look less sick and more fresh enough i love this bronzer such a go-to for me then we're gonna go for a cream blushes and i'm gonna go with the danisa merix i love this palette i did use the other one in previous video which is a deeper shade and this one is more like the brightest shades i really like it is that dewy chic and lip palette this one is from the do it flirty line i really like it so i'm gonna use actually these two here yes because this one is quite bright and this one is quite muted but if i mix them together i think it's going to be a nice mix i'm gonna start with the muted shade first and as i said it's very very pigmented a little bit goes a long way so i'm gonna just do that first i'm gonna stamp it so I don't go too crazy and now I'm gonna blend it out as you can see this is pigmented I may won't be using the other shade <laughs> I don't think I don't need the other shade this one is very pigmented I'm gonna take a little bit off from the brush so I can blend it out so it doesn't look too much well I guess it will look too much I'm gonna blend it out don't worry because it was the day where I'm sick that I needed to go crazy with my blush of course but this is pretty look at this shine this luminosity and this creaminess it's just so good so yeah no I won't be using the other color because I really don't need but this is such a great as well blushes for the winter cold makeup look that is very trending and actually did a look with the cold makeup look if you want to check it out i will leave a link above but this is a great alternative as well if you are looking for that creating that look this is the palette you need because this is pigmented boy but at the same time it really gives you that wow freshness i don't look sick at all with these blushes there you go so as you can see it looks really nice and fresh i really like that that color is beautiful and this was the muted one and it was the shade actually t 
tease this one but oh boy that shade and all of these shades are super duper pigmented dewy and blendable i highly recommend them this palette and the other one as well they are just the perfect wintery but also spring all year round kind of shade you can use you can mix and match you can use on your eyes cheek and lips as well it's just such a multi-purpose palette i just love them so much now that's it for the complexion actually for the eyes i'm gonna go really minimal i'm not gonna do any mascara i'm gonna skip the mascara because i have watery eyes so there's no point for me to have mascara because it's gonna smudge and i don't want that so i'm gonna skip mascara but i'm gonna still do a little something something for my eyelid and i'm gonna be using the vive eyeshadow stick in the shade hasselnut and i'm just gonna apply a little bit here to give a bit of a color a bit of dimension a bit of something something for my eyes so it doesn't go bare or naked and i have a little something going on it's not just nothing you know and it goes on very quickly very smoothly it's very creamy it's very blendable you can do it with your fingers and you are good to go i'm just gonna apply it a little bit on my lower lash line just a little bit Again, just to give a bit of a dimension, but not too much, and that's it. You see, there you go, I'm done. This is just my go to those eye stick shadows from Vive, they are amazing, they are very pigmented, they last all day long, they don't smudge, they don't budge, they don't fade, they are amazing. I have bought a lot of them since I discovered this brand, but also this eye stick shadow because they are really that good and this one is in the shade hazelnut it's a very nice camel chocolatey shade beautiful for everyday shadow it's just a go-to for me again then because i'm not doing much for my eyes and i'm skipping the mascara i'm still gonna use a nude eyeliner for my waterline just to awaken my eyes because they are so tired i want a little something something but not too much you see to awaken my eyes but also to have less of a tired eyes and more of a fresh awake eyes you see how the difference it makes just a tiny bit and it's just gorgeous i'm gonna use a little bit on my inner corner as well because i do have a bit of a darkness here but not too much again just a little bit because i still want this to look natural and not overdone and as you can see it's nice it's waterproof it's long lasting it's from the drugstore it's affordable and i love this nude color it's the perfect one it's not too white it's not too cream it's the perfect beige in between color i really like it and again it's long lasting and waterproof now i'm gonna do a quick eyebrow here because i still need to do a little something something for it and again, I'm gonna be using my NYX Thick It Stick It Eyebrow Mascara in the shade Espresso. And I'm gonna use a little bit of it. I don't want too much, just because I don't do much with my eyes. So I don't want my brow to be too much as well. So a little bit goes a long way. And again, it's quick, it's easy. It's just gonna set my brow so they stay in place all day. But also they look a little bit more bushy. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way with this because it's quite pigmented as well. So you don't want too much. And I always start at the tail of my brow and then I go at the front later on. But really at the end, not at the beginning. Otherwise it's going to be too much product on the front of my brow. And it's going to look so unnatural. And it's going to look too much. So I really pay attention to start at the tail. And then I finish at the front. I forgot to set my under eye in T-zone. Ta-da! I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury again. Flawless powder in the shade medium. It's such a good powder to set. But also to perfect the skin as well. And to blur any pores, any fine lines. It is a really good perfecting powder, you know. And I use a little bit of it around my nose. Because again, this is where I blow my nose a lot. So I want a bit of extra protection i'm gonna leave my cheek the way it is because i really want to keep that dewiness to really keep my face look fresh but looking good <laughs> now for the eyes i have two options here they are actually new so i'm gonna be trying them out today for the first time but i did try this formula before that's why i bought two other shades because i really liked the formula of this 
lipstick from L'Oreal. It's actually the intense volume matte lipstick. I love the packaging. It's very sleek, very chic, very elegant. And I picked up two more shades. I'm gonna actually swatch them for you so you can see how they look like. And then I'm gonna choose which one I'm gonna be wearing today. This is the packaging. The first one is this one, number 602, Nude Admirable. As the name suggests, it is more like a nude not really nude, I will say more like a mauve, mauve shade, perfect for winter actually, so I really like that shade, this one is the 603, the wood nonchalant, Ooh, this one is a beautiful brown shade, so because I do have a bit of a pinky mauve chic, I'm gonna go with the mauve lipstick as well. You know what? I think I'm gonna also use the other shade. It's a little bit pale for me, especially that I am sick, so I want a little bit more of a color. I thought it was going to be a little bit more deeper, but it's a little bit paler. Hold on a second. I'm gonna use the brown as well. Mm, yeah. I think the mix of these two is really nice as well. Oh yeah, I really like the two of them mixing together it's such a nice color i really like it so this really is nice it's pretty it's easy it's everyday color for me plus they are very long lasting as i said they are really really good that's why i bought two more shades because they are long lasting they're creamy they're pigmented and i really like the mix of these two colors actually the brownish and the mauve shade together really makes the perfect combo it's very hydrating as well it's very comfortable on the lips and it has a matte finish but very moisturizing so it's very comfortable and since i am sick and i do blow my nose a lot i do have watery eyes i do sneeze a lot and i do breathe through my mouth more than my nose so i need some comfort i need some moisturization moisturization as the <laughs> I need that moisture, that hydration on my lips while having that full pigment on or at least having that color going on to my lips so I don't look faded, I don't look tired, I don't look sick anymore and I feel like this makeup really did that so I really enjoy how it turned out, how it came out. I feel like I look more fresh, I look more awake, I look more Put together there's one more thing i completely forgot to do and i will do right now is to set that face because i want that face to stay on all day and i'm using of course my charlotte tilbury setting spray is the best and i really rely on this one because it really makes my makeup last all day and there you have it guys that's the final makeup look more healthy more hydrated more glowy more freshen up more awake and i think we did that today with all this amazing product that i really love i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment below if you did try those products let me know how you found this makeup look today i hope you found this video inspiring but also entertaining and really pleasant to watch even though i was a little bit sick i hope i wasn't too off today <laughs> but i'm glad i didn't sneeze the whole video i just feel like my nose is getting runny a little bit but that's pretty much it i kind of feel as well like my eyes is watery right now i really hope you enjoyed this video if it's the case don't hesitate to give me a big thumbs up it does help me a lot and if you are new to my channel i hope you will consider subscribing before you leave thank you again so much for watching this video for spending this time with me today it does mean a lot to me and i cannot wait to see you in my next video until then stay beautiful Mwah. bye